Hello guys, welcome back to Solar Motion VFX. This time for a little quick tip in a film VFX uh, on the subject time scale. So um, I have a simple scene here with a film VFX grid and uh, two lights and just a, a camera here. And uh, for the film VFX source, I have just inserted a simple source, this one here, and uh, basically I just uh, pour remove the render the fire because I only want smoke so just basic settings uh, set up the GPU v port and um, also remember to choose your destination via file or for a path for your cache so um, if we just uh, do a quick uh, sim on the defaults here let's see what we get Okay, I'll stop it here. And um, this is uh, at time scale uh, one. If we go into simulation, and uh, we have it here. This is the parameter I'm talking about. And uh, basically, this is like a global multiplier for all of the parameters in here. So it uh, it's like a if you slow lower this number, it's like a fake slow motion. Um, and if you up it up like 1.5 or two, it's gonna double up. So if we keep the same frame rate, 30 frames per second, and we still don't change the frames in the timeline, if we go back and we raise this to, to 3, then look at it now, how fast it's going to rise. It just speeds up the whole thing. Before on frame 30, we were below this height here. So this is actually what it's doing, the time scale. It's just boosting all the parameters in here. Uh, so it's uh, speeding up. It's really good for explosions uh, where you need this rapid uh, fiery source just emitting all over the place. So explosions is really uh, good for that. But I want to show something else. It can also be used to th this scene where you do a freeze frame, where you freeze your animation and then you see this camera pan around and then they continue so the thing is I'm uh, using a Fimofix uh, version 5.0 so I think that there's a bug in this version if you have the 5, uh, 5 version 5.02 then you're probably not going to encounter this but uh, because it doesn't work on the on the, here I want to show you so if we go back to say time scale a value of 1 and let's say after 20 frame at 20 so go one back and add a keyframe here and then go one forward and then lower it all the way down and due to the nature of uh, fluid it cannot go uh, all the way down to 0 it will only be 0 0.01 you have to have if you really really have a close up then you can see it actually does have a very very solid uh, movement but uh, from any other camera angle you wouldn't notice it so after framed 20 we are down on the lowest number so if we go in and just to have a clean start going to general and uh, press this delete it's gonna delete your cache and give you a clean start then let's see what we get remember the keyframes here And there it should have stopped, but it just continue. So I've experimented this. Uh, no matter where I put it, it's just gonna stop. It's only unless if I do it on the first, uh, on the first frame. So let's try that. If we find time scale here. Let's just load all the way down at the lowest number and start again. Let's see. This is the subtle movement I'm talking about when you zoom all the way in. But it's so subtle that you won't uh, see it. So we stop it. Um, but if you have the high version, you should be able to do it. I just want to show you how it's supposed to be done. Or how it was supposed to work. So here I am in 3x Max with the same uh, setup. Just a simple source. And uh, look at uh, our time scale up here. It rises, it rises, and then around here frame 30 it goes down on frame 30 down to 0 0.01 and it stopped 
and then it starts again here. So that's how it's supposed to how it's supposed to work. So um, jump over to the other scene here. Let's edit here, and then at seventy five. I have done something else I want to show you. So this is a really um, a workaround which is definitely not uh, recommended. But uh, like I said, if you have version 5.02, it should work. But what you can do is, let's say that around frame 75, you cached it out to yeah whatever, frame 100. But at frame 75, at this frame, you would like to uh, stop it here and do a camera rotation around this do a little panning uh, like I did here I just put in a circle and if we look for the camera you can see from here it's just gonna start rotate around if we go out of the camera view and perspective well you can see the camera just following a path a circle path so well, what you can do is, let's say it's around frame 75 that you uh, like how uh, how the shot looks. Then what you will do is that in your cache folder, right? So uh, in this case, when you go into general and into your uh, default, open it here. All of these here values, right? These names, you just go in and find frame 75 like that and then you would just right clip and copy and then just paste as many as you want and then just rename them one by one 76 77 78 79 and so on so it continues afterwards but that frame data contains that image in there and then again when you want to continue you just put the subsequent number after that so that's what i did here at frame 75 I stopped it and then I went in here and I just renamed them um, from 75 and I have frames up to uh, 110 so what I ended up with was having something like this pretty cool so thank you guys that was just a pretty little uh, quick tip for you guys how to do a freeze uh, on your scene with, with the time scale so I uh, hope you liked it uh, guys please uh, leave a comment uh, subscribe um, and I'll see you in the next one bye guys